Hi everyone, we are meeting here once again to talk about WebEx widgets. Well, last time I introduced you to the Kanban widget based on the efficient Japanese methods of project management. And now I'm going to move from the far east to the far west part of the world. Are you intrigued? So today's honorary is a gun chart. Let's start with a brief outline of its history. The first prototype of so-called gun chart was invented, oddly enough, by the Polish engineer Karol Adamacki back in 1896. He developed a fundamentally new approach for visualizing and analyzing interrelated processes in production and successfully used it in practice. Later, he named his invention the harmonogram. Since Andamansky published only in Russian and Polish, his work wasn't widely known in English-speaking countries. But in 1910, another American engineer, Henry Gant, introduced his own analog of similar system in the United States. He used his invention to track the time that factory workers spend on the current tasks. Subsequently, these two systems were combined into the solution we now know as a Gantt chart. So let's find out what kind of tasks can be covered using Gantt chart from the WebEx team. Generally, such system allows one to solve several issues related to project management at once. First of all, you can plan each stage of the workflow by creating any number of project tasks and subtasks with well-defined start and end dates. In doing so, the most important stages of the workflow can be marked by the special milestones. To manage the workflow more effectively, you can view all of your projects and tasks through the special timescales. The project may include a huge number of additional tasks. Each of these tasks may directly depend on the readiness of the other ones. To display such dependencies, the widget provides special lines that allow connecting interrelated tasks to each other. The project has to be done in a certain time frame. To meet its deadline, the task of the project must be completed timely and consistently. For analyzing such deadlines, the widget provides a critical path method. It allows displaying the chain of tasks that you need to complete on time to meet the project deadline. The widget takes into account only tasks with the end to start links. If the schedules of such tasks are overlapped or set without considering the lead time, the widget will consider them critical and highlight in red. Besides linking between different tasks, you can also create related subtasks within a specific task. The parts of such split task are displayed in one row and connected to each other by a dotted line. Unlike the basic task, the subtasks of the split ones are not displayed in the tree and cannot include the child items. One of the distinguished features of the Gantt chart is the ability to work with the resources. You can efficiently manage resources by assigning them to certain project tasks. You will also be able to view resources in the tree and chart using a special mode, as well as analyze the workload of resources via a special diagram. By default, the widget displays only the task in the tree and chart. In this way, you can view the projects, tasks and subtasks as well as milestones. But you can switch to the resource view mode as well. In this mode, the widget displays only the task grouped by resources they are assigned to. There is also a separate unassigned section that contains, well, all unassigned tasks. Besides the view mode, you can also display resources on the separate diagram. It allows you to analyze the workload of each resources by hours and tasks. If the resource limit is exceeded, the widget will highlight it in red on the diagram. On the internet, you can find a lot of ready-made applications and services that allow you to create the gun charts and use them for managing projects. But you will not find so many gut widgets you can use to create your own app. And even between them, Webix Gun Chart stands out for a number of following advantages. Rich features, managing projects, linking and splitting tasks, critical paths, zooming timescales, working with resources, and much more. Easy front-end integration. The widget works well with old modern frameworks. You can use it as standalone or as a part of the React or Angular app. Easy back-end integration. All business logic is implemented on the client side, but the widget provides a REST API for saving data to the server. We have example of such server scripts for different platforms. Customization. All the elements can be flexibly customized via API without the need to dive into the source code, which are provided, by the way. Documentation, samples, and technical support. We provide detailed documentation, lots of examples, and we are always in touch to help you if something goes wrong. 
And that's it, I will put together a cheat sheet for you that covers everything we have talked about today, plus some additional notes that I think you will find useful. You can discover the online demos and grab a full trial from our website via a link you will find in the description below. If you like the overview, please check to like, share it with your colleagues and be sure to subscribe for brand new episodes. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to see you soon again.